All right, I've read a little bit about your backstory. You take a lot of pride in being from Hawthorne and representing that community and playing for the LA Galaxy. Talk about that, why? Yeah, you know, um, I was born and raised here in Los Angeles, but I grew up in Hawthorne, lived there majority of my, my life, but um, I used to be a fan of the LA Galaxy. My dad used to take me to numerous games and I used to support the club. And once I became a professional soccer player with the club, I knew what it was like being a kid looking up to this whole environment and these professional players. So I just take, I just take part and I, I just love where I come from and I hope to inspire that next generation. I was reading a backstory about you. You and your family were not familiar with soccer really when you moved to Hawthorne. You guys were the typical basketball, football family. How did you get involved with soccer? Yeah, you know, like you said, we, were, we weren't really uh, typically involved with soccer, but my dad, you know, he read numerous soccer books and he taught all of us how to play soccer. So he took it real seriously and he taught us the sport. A lot of conversation on this show about soccer, soccer culture, and how it relates to race. How do we get more African-American kids involved with soccer? I think it starts at a younger age. Generally, African-American kids tend to migrate to basketball or football. But to be honest, this next generation, I'm seeing a lot of African-American uh, youth soccer players coming up in the rising. So I think over the next couple of years, you'll start to see more and more uh, African-Americans playing the sport. I, I saw something, I think, in one of the articles where it, it kind of inspired me. I heard something about some futsal uh, courts or places to play futsal in Hawthorne. Is that true? Yes, that's true. Did you grow up playing futsal? I mean, do, do you know about that game? Yeah, so uh, I actually did grow up playing futsal, but we were actually playing on empty, vacant tennis courts. We used to cut the nets and build these soccer goals on each end, and that's how we played futsal.